Hold on. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, if you make it quick, Santa's got a little get-together he's late for. Okay, this is extremely important. Instead of presents this year, I just want my family back. No toys, nothing but Peter, Kate, Buzz, Megan, Linny, and Jeff. And my aunt and my cousins. And if he has time, <laughs> I'm Okay? It's so cool. Okay. Around the holidays, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, is a time for family, friends, and whoever your loved ones may be in your life. So whoever that person or those people may be in your life, spend time with them as much as you possibly can. And if you're really struggling, make time for them. We start today's video with a Christmas tradition. Myself and the old man are going to pick a Christmas tree. The same farm, at around about the same time, a similar routine, but this year, Charlotte got involved. Exhibit A of what I just said. The rest of the routine means we come home, we try and cram it through the house, which is a lot harder than you think, and we come and put it up together listening to the same old Disney soundtrack. An ancient family tradition. It was on video. That's how old it was. Hello! <laughs> it's harder than it looks. I know, I can imagine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? It went all along the banister. <gasps> Casualty. Don't worry, Mr. Snowman. I got you. Yeah, pal. Later on that night, myself and Charlotte headed down to Sainsbury's and picked up nothing but a cheesecake. It was also a Saturday night, and so we decided to order Chinese, which, to be honest, t turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Hello? Hi, uh, um, hi. Oh, are you... Hi, are you doing deliveries? Uh, we do delivery, and the delivery, uh, you have to wait about one half hour. Half, an hour and a half? Yeah, quite busy cooking. Right, okay, um, how long, how long for collection? Collect uh, about 40 minutes. Half about hour, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, can we. Or can we come and collect, please? Yeah, okay. What do you like? Um, can I get two chicken chow mein, please? Yeah. One uh, large egg fried rice. Two portions chicken chow mein, yeah? Yes, please, yeah. And a large egg fried rice. Um, yeah. And also, can I get some salt and pepper chips as well, please? You ordered uh, chicken chow mein, two portions, large egg fried rice, hot chili chips. 35 minutes. Okay, perfect. I'll see you then. Okay. Thank you. Alright, nice one. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Zero calorie. And well, that was that really. I mean, for that stage of the video anyway. So a couple of days have passed and we were going to a gig. Our first return to Rock City since being at university, we went to see one of Charlotte's favourite bands, You Me At Six. You might have heard a few of their songs. 
Um, and it was just a night filled with good vibes, good music, and yes, you guessed it, some white monster. <laughs> following day and I wanted to kind of just take a second to explain why those family kind of traditions is the wrong word but things that I like to do and things that we just kind of end up doing are so important to me and that is because <laughs> you're ready to get deep right I mean our time on planet earth is so teeny tiny if you picture the grand scale of things right millions and millions of years ago right we spend, on average, what, let's say the average person is, what, 70, 80 on, on average? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments. That is nothing in comparison to millions and millions of years that this Earth has kind of existed. And so every single second, every single minute, every single day, month, whatever, is precious. And you have to spend that time with those loved ones in your life whether that be a friend, a family member, a work colleague, or whatever, like whatever it is for you, spend time with those important people in your life because they're not gonna be there forever, and you know, as horrible as it sounds for all you know, you might not. Something could flip change in a, in a second overnight and change your life drastically and you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. That's just how, unfortunately, life does work. And so when you have these opportunities around the holidays or just all throughout the year, just make the most of being able to be with those loved ones as much as you possibly can. Make the time. If you, if you say, oh, I don't have time to do this, make that time. Separate something out. One hour, one hour, just one hour. Separate it from the rest of your life, the rest of your schedule, work, whatever. Just make sure you have that time to spend with some of your loved ones, you know? And I'm quite a nostalgic person, in like, if you've been watching the channel you'll know my feelings about university, you'll know my feelings about all the changes that have kind of gone through and you guys have seen that first hand on the channel which is it's quite nice really because I can then look back at that and think, oh, you know, I'm, I've changed, I've, I've grown now, I'm, I'm a bigger, better, stronger person. And that can be something in terms of being nostalgic, that can be something that people not necessarily don't like, I'd say don't like is the wrong word, people think it's silly, they don't really get it, like if I'm so nostalgic towards university, I, I talk to people at work about it and they're just, they don't really get it, um, I mean not all of them have been and not all of them will love, loved it in the same way that I do and so yeah, won't understand it, but that doesn't make it stupid, I mean if you ask me being nostalgic about something means you appreciate it, it means you are thankful for those times, you, you're happy and you have good memories of that time, you, you know you're nostalgic, you're, you're reliving those moments in your mind because they're happy thoughts, they're happy times, so why would you not relive them, you know, and so having those things close to you, close to your heart is not necessarily a bad thing and I think it's something that people don't really talk about and I think it's something that people should not only talk about, but celebrate. Celebrate those nostalgic feelings. Celebrate those happy feelings and share them. Share them to the world, you know? I hope that you guys can watch my videos and take something from it. Maybe learn a thing or two and just enjoy watching it. And then maybe even have those nostalgic feelings about some of my old crappy videos, if you've been around for that long time. I mean, my old videos, I've said many, many times on the channel before that... I would not want to watch my old videos. However, I do still have that nostalgic feeling because I remember how proud I was of uploading them at the time. I mean, I look back at them now and they're crap. But you know those 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 feelings and that just happiness if you like is is still there and I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. So moral of the story really guys, take the time for your loved ones. Don't be scared to share that time with others as well because, uh, getting all cliche here, like it, it's a beautiful time, you know? You can spend 
precious moments, maybe capture a little bit of it on camera as well. Not all of it. Like I go to these events, I go to all these, like, and I, especially when I record as much as I do, people expect that I just live my entire life staring through a camera. I mean, I have this weird knack of kind of just, hang on, holding a camera above my head like this and just knowing that I'm going to be in the shot. Um, and so that has kind of been crafted from me just holding a camera for my pretty much entire life, taking photos, taking videos, whatever. And that's one of the reasons really why I started this, because I was obsessed with making memories, obsessed with that nostalgic feeling. And so what obsessed is the wrong word, I, I, I enjoy it, you know? Um, yeah, so that's why, it, that's why it means a lot to me, that's why it means something to me. And um, I don't know, I just felt inspired, I felt the need to kind of share that and hopefully I've done that through a video which is pretty freaking cool when you think about it. I mean, I can now look back at this and have a nostalgic feeling of the feeling I'm having right now because I will remember that in my head and hopefully you guys will too if you watch this in a year, in two years, in five years time. Crazy when you think about it really. But um, anyway, that is gonna be it for today's video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do me a massive favor, drop a like and a comment down below, turn on that notification bell wherever it may be so you do not miss a single thing in future videos. I thank you guys so much for the support on the last video and I mean hopefully this one and the ones in the future too have been amazing. So you guys are the best. I hope you guys have a very happy holidays. If you celebrate Christmas, if you don't, I wish you well. Much love. Thank you so much for your endless support. Together we will grow. I will see you guys in the next one.